Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're taking a look today at the Mars by Crazy Baby. This is a Bluetooth speaker system that comes in actually two parts. You've got a woofer module down here to give you a little bit of an extra bass kick, and then you have uh, this little saucer section up here, and they are in two parts. There's nothing connecting the two, and what's going to happen is in a minute is when I turn it on, uh, the saucer component here is going to lift up off of its base and stay floating in the air suspended by magnetic levitation. It actually works pretty good. It doesn't sound terrific, but uh, it does work as advertised insofar as it will uh, do a very uh, pretty reliable uh, magnetic levitation of its top speaker. It's really cool, and we're going to take a look at this in depth in a minute. But I want to mention first that this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, I've had no direct contact with the company that makes this. The company is called Crazy Baby, uh, nor have I talked to Amazon about this either. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, and no one is reviewing this video before it is posted. All right, so I'm going to turn everything on here. Now, there are, again, two parts to this product. So you can use this top portion uh, without the bass if you choose. It doesn't sound all that great because it is kind of a tinny little speaker, which is why uh, the bass unit here does give you a little bit of extra oomph. Uh, and you have to turn both portions on. Now, there's a battery inside of this, and there's a battery in here. So both of these things will operate together uh, when you're away from power. However, there is is no line input on either device here. So if you want to uh, listen to music, it is only through Bluetooth. There are two USB ports here for charging your devices, uh, but this is not an audio input. It's only going to accept Bluetooth audio. Uh, there's also two power buttons here as a result. So I have to push the power button on this portion here. Uh, and that will get uh, the Bluetooth connectivity going to my phone. And then if I want to start levitating, I do have to push in the power button on the base here. So why don't we do that uh, once everything is connected. Now the uh, notification sounds on here are rather loud and obnoxious, and there's no way to really turn them off, unfortunately. Uh, what's been interesting is that sometimes it plays this really loud song while it's levitating. Uh, right now it doesn't seem to be doing that, so I'm not sure why that is, but uh, there you go. You can see it's starting to levitate, and again, it's all magnetic levitation, which you may not be able to hear right now is a little motor uh, is pushing a magnet up inside the base of this device to allow this to uh, sit above it, again, suspended completely by magnets, and it's pretty good. You can bounce it around a little bit here. Uh, you can spin it if you want. You do have to be careful not to push it too hard to one direction or the other because uh, it will kind of crash into the side of it like that. Now what will happen when this occurs is that the motor will then uh, step down and uh, you can then reseat the, uh, the little speaker here at the top and it gets easier to do that once that magnet gets out of the way. Once it detects that it's back on the top here, it will then uh, re-levitate the device and you can get back to playing your music and everything. So it really does work as advertised. I was actually pretty impressed that this uh, really levitates as well as it does. And I always wanted a hoverboard when I was a kid, but I guess I'm gonna have to settle for a hovering speaker here initially. And the big question is, how does it sound? So let's put the uh, play button in action here and you can maybe get a sense for it. Um, it's, it's okay, I mean, it's, it's a very tinny speaker on the top and the bass portion here sometimes overpowers it and the bass really isn't all that powerful either. So it doesn't have a lot of kick to it. The sound doesn't really sound all that great, especially out of something as expensive as this is. So uh, this is $330 or thereabouts, and it really isn't delivering an uh, audiophile kind of sound that you would expect out of something so expensive. But uh, it does do this, which your expensive speakers can't do. So that is really, I think, where they focus their engineering uh, into is making this thing float here uh, like so. So it, it sounds okay, uh, but really you can get a better sounding speaker for a lot less. You know, the Amazon Echo and the Amazon Tap are things that I think about that sound better. Uh, so there isn't so great of a range of sound on here, but uh, I think if you want a pretty cool conversation piece, this might uh, work pretty well. And you can also get two of these if you want to spend even more money and have them work as a stereo pair. And you can configure all of that uh, through the app that they have for this, which we're going to take a look at right now. All right, so here is the companion app, and you can do things like control the levitation. So I can go uh, up to my two-up screen here. If I just drag the little saucer down here, it'll redock to the base. Unfortunately, I don't believe you can control the altitude of it. So it's either up or it's down, but you can uh, redock it if uh, the levitation is not something you want at that moment in time, uh, or if the battery is running low. I guess what it'll do is when the battery starts running low on the top, it'll automatically dock itself to uh, continue charging on there. So you'll see we uh, just uh, use the app to uh, move it back up and then it's off and running again. Uh, you'll see also there's a little light belt running on here and you can change the way that light belt works over here. You can just slide through different uh, options for how that looks. So you do have some different things you can do for the light belt on there. A lot of basic stuff here. The brightness control for that uh, light bar is on there. Uh, there is an equalizer. It's not, again, it really hasn't made much of a difference for me, but they have a couple of presets here. So you can uh, tap on outdoor, for example, or bass or indoor and you can even use 
their crazy uh, EQ if you want that, uh, or you can uh, hit the custom one and then tap on an icon in the corner there uh, and get a custom equalizer if you really want to try to tweak everything. And you might want to do that, again, given how uh, the bass on this does tend to overpower the rest of the speaker occasionally on there. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, there is something called auto volume on here, which will detect via uh, some Bluetooth technology how close your phone is to the device and it will adjust the volume. So if you are farther away, it'll turn the volume up. If you get closer, it'll turn the volume down a little bit. That may or may not be useful. I'm not sure if that's uh, my cup of tea, but uh, you have that as an option. You can name it over here. Uh, there's also a double up feature because what you can do is uh, set this up as, again, a stereo pair and you get that configuration done uh, inside the app. So you declare one the left and one the right and then you've got uh, stereo sound on there. Uh, there's also a multi-point option here too so you can uh, pair it up with multiple phones and it looks like whoever had this before me maybe in their uh, QA or whatever uh, keeps a log of the prior phones that have connected to it so maybe they have to do a, a little uh, erase of the uh, memory on this thing. Uh, then you can get a look at the current firmware on here too. So pretty cool speaker I have to say from uh, definitely from the engineering standpoint I do think this is just completely crazy just how well this works. I mean you really can uh, kind of manipulate it here a little bit, uh, run your hand underneath it here, and it will uh, not, uh, you, nothing will really interfere with it at all. It's pretty uh, good at keeping uh, a real, like, honest to goodness uh, levitation here working here. It's a pretty strong force here, too. It's, it, 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 you can, of course, push it down to the base by forcing it, but uh, that magnet is really strong. You definitely want to keep this away from hard drives and other stuff that, you know, spinning drives, magnetic drives, uh, this could certainly interfere with. This is a pretty powerful magnet to do what you're seeing here. So keep your credit cards away from it and other stuff because this will erase magnetic media. But uh, if you are willing to take that risk, uh, I think it's a really cool little speaker. But uh, a lot of engineering went into making it float and not as much into the sound quality. So you're not going to be blown away by the sound, but uh, your friends will definitely like to uh, see this thing do the levitation deal here. And it's def definitely a, a conversation piece, if nothing else. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.